Okay. Well, let's open this thing up. Packaging is nicely done. This video is going to be cruising along at two times speed just because, you know, it's boring to watch people open stuff. But um, this thing looks just shiny. It looks good. I don't think this is made of metal, but it really fakes that look very well. Um, two HDMI's on the back, two USB 3's on the back, Ethernet. Front's got two USB 3.0's as well, and USB-C. Pretty sure it's not Thunderbolt. Could be wrong. Let's check the manual. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just USB-C. Um, comes with two of these... Uh, Extendo cables that lets you hook up some normal hard drives. Interestingly enough, and we'll see this in a minute, there's there's no there's only space for one physical hard drive inside, but they give you two ribbon cables. And I think there are two ribbon cable locations on the inside of this thing. So if you got a friend with a 3D printer, the the base plate that we're gonna take off here in a sec is is actually super simplistic. So you could you could very easily print out something that was uh, that actually accommodated for two mechanical hard drives if you're looking for just expanding the crud out of the space of this thing. Um, it also came with two HDMI cables. One is of decent length, five feet, six feet ish. The other one is minuscule, like 12 inches. So that must be for convenience in mounting this thing to the back of your monitor and just plugging it in with a really short distance. Um, kind of a cool thing. Usually you'd have to go find something like that if you wanted that kind of cable management out of the box. Here's the vase mount. Uh, it only uses two of the screws of the vase mount to uh, get stuff hung. Single chip of 8 gig. Very nice of them instead of 2 by 4 which would have stank for upgrading sake. Unlabeled 256 gig solid state drive. Uh, everything in here looks very nice, uh, very, very well done. Here's the uh, here's the ribbon cables I was talking about that will. I'll show you where one of the spots is for. Uh, and here's where you'd plug in a hard drive. It looks like this is the this part of the case is where you'd screw in a hard drive, and it would kind of go there-ish. Again, it only accommodates for one. Uh, if they wanted to make it just a little bit taller, they could have accommodated two, but we'll we'll have to leave that to end users just doing that on their own accord. So here's one slot uh, where one of these uh, fits right in. You'll pull the plastic tab up and shove the uh, M side in. M is for motherboard. And the other side kind of goes into this adapter. There is no second adapter, so you'll probably have to go and find a B-Link uh, link for that so that you can get a second adapter in the event that you were going to go crazy on this thing and, and get a second adapter. The other one I'll point out here, I think, in a sec is um, nearby. Yep, it's where my thumb is. My left thumb. Nope, now it's at the top left. Now it's on the right side. I'm pr I swear I point this out in the recording. I, I just can't remember. Uh, yep, right there. So the second one is to the right of the PCI Express drive. So we'll um I'm not going to I'm not going to put in any two and a half inch drives. I'm just going to leave the setup as is. I'm not bumping the RAM up for this particular video, but I probably will in the future. Um this the 8th gens are technically capable of 64 gigs of uh DDR4. Um it's just kind of a case by case, brand by brand, but the Nook lineups with similar uh, processing power, totally capable of 64 gig, which is pretty cool. 12 volt, 3 amp. Okay, so I mean it's rated, at least the brick is rated for peak load of roughly uh, 36 ish watts of use. The TDP of the chip is probably lower than that though, so um, in, the, in the future here I'll show you, we'll be idling at about 8. So that's very impressive. Low low power usage unless you are hoping, uh, unless you're actually using a ton of processing power then it's, then it's a little more than that. But 
Um, HDMI uh, fits very nicely. And um, here in Windows, uh, I've got it booted up. The most, the most wonderful, coolest part of this is that it's it comes with Windows 10 Pro right out of the box. I I don't even know that I remembered reading that, but it's not a Windows 10 Home license, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, Wi-Fi is AX, so you should be pumping speeds that are very fast. Um, my router barely does AX, um, so if I run a speed test here, ugh, this isn't going to show the true nature of how fast it can go because my plan is rated for 300 by 30. Um, but you can see that it nimbly uh, takes that on. The Intel Wi-Fi chip that's in here is an AX200. That's pretty much the most common AX chip right now in most of these uh, mid-range uh, machines. Processor, let's change this view. Yep, we got four cores reading as eight logical cores, so that's nice for if you're doing a lot of stuff or if you got VMs that you want to run on this thing. You're going to run out of RAM first. We're using half the memory, but remember, that's because this has Intel Iris Plus, uh, I think it's 655. Um, here I am just opening up a million tabs trying to stress out the CPU for just a sec. Uh, keeps up with it just fine. Um, GPU, again, um, because Edge uh, utilizes Intel Iris, it is, um, it's reserved 4 gigs of your 8 for GPU, potentially. That's a lot. Uh, so you're going to want to, you're probably going to want to bump up RAM, mostly so that you actually get to use uh, 8 or 12 gigs of RAM while the graphics chip is going to chew on about 4 of it. This is obviously in two times playback, but I was just making sure that uh, video uh, was smooth and didn't uh, push the GPU to its limits in YouTube or, or whatever with some high-quality stuff. It it seemed to work just fine, which is great. Um, Windows 10 Pro. This one came shipped with 2004, which came out almost a year ago. So... Um, I'm not disappointed that it didn't come with like 20H2 or something like that from four or five months ago, but um, something to note. You're probably getting something uh, manufactured at least six months prior to your purchase. Um, here I am trying to find out what the heck uh, uh, solid state is inside this thing. Spoiler alert, I can't find it. It's a generic as can be. <laughs> so, oh well. Um... Something else to note, though, is that this thing is um, quiet. It's quiet. Even when I feel like I'm stressing it out, it is pretty much nice and quiet. Uh, Realtek drivers, okay, Realtek for, the, for Ethernet, that's a little disappointing. It's not Intel. It's an Intel Wi-Fi chip. Um, so I think I'm going to perform a couple of tests here in a second with file transfer. I'm going to run into a bottleneck, which is my NAS, which has four drives in it, is only going to be able to send it to me. Uh, and my NAS is 10 gigabit. Keep that in mind, right? But this machine um, is not. So it'll it'll top out at like 600, 600 megabytes a second-ish here in a sec when I start doing those tests. And the reason for that is because those four drives combined uh, ability to dish out data speed is topped out at 600 megabytes a second. Otherwise, wireless AX would be completely c compatible with uh, probably launching files my way at just under gigabit or maybe, well, just under gigabit because I only have a gigabit line going up to the um, my wireless uh, ubiquity uh, access point so but very fun nonetheless uh, it's my, here's my first here's my first file transfer I was copying from somewhere that was that was much slower uh, as far as its maximum speed then I test it from something that has solid state drive in it and and we kind of see more of its potential so um, again Windows 10 professional <gasps> the most cool thing though 
I've never bought a computer from somewhere that was that wasn't something that I built that came with absolutely freaking no built-in apps, not a single one, which is just a complete breath of fresh air. Can I just say that? Just a total breath of fresh air to go into the apps list and have it just be empty. That was pretty cool. Definitely thought it was going to be uh, filled up with shovelware where it's like, oh, yeah, McAfee, that'll bring our costs down by $3, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. So that was very cool uh, to have that just be completely empty. Um, I'm looking for big files to test my to test my file transfer with. But anyway, um, very, um, very cool. Very cool that it didn't come with a single thing of uh, garbage wear, basically. Um, the the blue light, or excuse me, the the red circular light on the front glows white. I haven't gone into the BIOS yet to see if that color is changeable, but um, white, very nifty there also. Um, I eventually install Core Temp on this thing, which we'll see here in a sec. But um, temperatures at idle are rocking um, pretty warm, pretty warm. Um, uh, maybe this isn't idling. Maybe this is downloading updates. I'm looking at it live off camera here, and um, CPU is busy on something. What could you possibly be doing? Oh, Windows updates, of course you are. So during a bout of Windows updates, right, and the processor working at about 25% across all cores, uh, I mean, we're rocking like 60 Celsius, right? When it's just calm, I mean, we're in we're in the 30s, we're in the 40s. Um, but it does get a little toasty, but nothing that's going to throttle it down yet. Um Again, the fan would be completely inaudible if it was behind my monitor. Sitting on my desk, I can hear it just, just a hair. Just a hair. Just a slight whoosh. Um, but absolutely not bad at all. Um, yeah, 28. Look at that. TDP is 28 watts for this particular um, processor, which makes, which makes sense. That lines up with our has 36 uh, watts to give uh, power brick and um, yeah 19 volt 3 amp which is um, which is pretty good uh, most of the other like nook bricks are are also 19 volt but they are oh that math I'm doing totally wrong I was assuming 12 volt brick that's my bad the 19 volt um, is probably going to be more capable of like you know just shy of 60 watts basically 57 or something like that. So so never mind. It could it could pull down 57. That's that was a mistake of mine. My bad. Um, but 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 the chip itself you know 28 TDP and um, but usually rocking much less than that. It's very nice. 